Hey guys, so for today's video, I am super excited because we have a get ready with me. I'm going to be doing my hair and my makeup on camera with you guys. I thought that would be super fun just to kind of kick it old school, get ready with me. And I'm going to also go through my hair care routine with you guys, my current hair care routine. This video was actually in partnership with Brio Gio. I'm so, so, so excited to be working with them because here's the story behind it. They actually sent me products just in a PR package, I think two or three months ago, maybe no, like a good three months ago. One day I just ran out of my shampoo and I just decided to try out this one since I had it in my PR stash and I fell in love. And then a couple weeks ago, they actually reached out to me asking me if I wanted to work with them. And of course I was so excited because I already love their shampoo so much. So I've been testing out a bunch of other items in their line and I cannot wait to share with you guys all the ones I have been loving. I'm gonna go through my hair care routine with you. We're actually gonna go in the shower and I'm gonna show you how I do everything. So before we get into the hair and makeup tutorial, I wanna go ahead and kind of talk Talk about my hair care routine and what products I've been using by Brio Giro. So the first thing of course is their shampoo. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Their conditioner is really good too. So this is the Blossom and Bloom Jingxing and Biotin Volumizing Shampoo. Now let me tell you why I love this stuff and just really why I love Brio Giro's hairline in general. Their products have no silicones, no sulfates, and no parabens. I talked to you guys a little bit. Sugar, what are you doing back there? So ever since I bleached my hair, I started really researching hair and really looking into it to make sure I could get my hair back to a healthy state. So I was a little bit spoiled. I had really silky hair, like my entire life, I had really soft, healthy hair. And ever since I stripped the jet black out of my hair with bleach three different times, yeah, long story, but I mean, if you watch me on the vlog channel, then you know my whole hair journey. Um, ever since that happened, I won't lie to you guys, my hair started to really feel very straw-like. So that's when I really stopped to really research hair and figure out what I can do to get my hair back to amazing condition. And one of the biggest things I found is how important it is to really use clean products on your hair. And by clean, I mean products that don't have harsh chemicals like sulfates, silicones, and parabens. Especially because I worked really hard to get my hair to the color that it is right now. My hair right now is a very, very, very dark brown. I love it. I worked really hard to get the jet black out of my hair. So to protect my hair color and to protect the tone so that my hair doesn't go brassy and doesn't go super red or super orange, it's really important to use products that don't have sulfates in it, especially shampoos. I really love the scent of this too. It's a really pretty clean, like citrusy scent. So I am gonna play a little demo for you guys to show you how I use the shampoo. The way I love to apply shampoo is to really grab all my fingers and my entire hand and really put it in the root and really make sure I scrub it because that's the way I get my hair super clean. I do not put shampoo on the ends of my hair. I just kind of let it trickle down. When you're applying this shampoo, you really feel how smooth it is and how easy it is to use. And although it has no sulfates, it really does lather up super nicely. I am obsessed with this. I use this as a conditioner and a mask. So this is the Brio Giro, Brio Gio, <laughs> Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. This literally has almost a full five star review. And if you go and read the reviews, literally almost every single person is giving it five star, five star, five Five star, five star. I had high hopes for it because I read those reviews and let me tell you, it really lives up to what you think it's gonna be. This stuff really, really, really works on your hair. I noticed a huge change, especially on my ends. Like I said, because I did bleach my hair, my ends were a little bit, a little bit dry and also some of my breakage pieces were really dry, but this really helped take the pieces of my hair that did break off and make it super smooth again. So if you have bleached hair or really damaged hair because you've, you know, used any chemical relaxers or if you have bleached your hair or dyed it or anything like that and you feel like it's dry and damaged, I'm not kidding you, this will literally make your hair, I feel like it makes my hair back to its original state before I, you know, dyed it and colored it and bleached it. It's just, it's amazing, so good. So the way that I love to apply the Don't Despair Repair Mask is I like to take a good, decent amount and really put it all over my ends, then I put it all over the mids, and I do bring it up to the root and to the top of my hair as well. But another thing I really like to do is take the hair and open it up and really make sure I'm spreading the love and spreading the product all over every strand. This is the Leave-In Defining Cream. This is amazing. If you have natural curly hair, this is gonna really help to define those natural curls. It's infused with so many amazing things like avocado oil, amino acids, like there's so many good things in this product for your hair. It's also, I believe it's 96 or 98, 96% natural formula, which is amazing. 
amazing. So I really love applying some of this when my hair is wet and letting it sit in there. For me, I really just love to use this as a defining cream. Now what that means is whatever hairstyle I'm going to be doing that week or for that day, I know that it's gonna really help my hair hold that style better. So the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the Milk Spray. I'm obsessed with this, you guys. So this is the Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. So one of the reasons why I love this specifically is because it's super lightweight. Because I already have really long hair, it's important for me not to use products that are gonna weigh my hair down. So I love how lightweight this is. It doesn't weigh my hair down, but it still really protects it and really does help repair it. it makes it feel super smooth and also kind of helps my baby hairs stay down and not get all frizzy and crazy there's tons of amazing things in here too like coconut and rose hip so it's just bomb the last product I want to share with you guys this is major key for me because again I have really long hair but I also don't have a lot of volume in my hair and sometimes I just want some you know some oomph this is the Blossom and Bloom Biotin Volumizing Spray. So a couple spritz of this in the roots when my hair is damp. I find it just gives it a little bit of volume. The shampoo is also volumizing, so it really helps me just get a little bit of volume on the root. I do really like to wear my hair super sleek, but I still don't want it to look stringy. You know, I want it to look voluminous and thick and rich, and this spray especially really helps with that. So now that I've kind of gone through all these different products, I want you guys to make sure you check them out in the description box. Use my promo code, Amy, if you guys wanna get 20% off. Amazing discount that they gave you guys. I feel like 20% is super amazing because you are getting really good quality products. I also wanna mention that all the Briogeo products are cruelty free. So please keep in mind that this discount code does expire. Once it does expire, I'll update the description box. There's gonna be a 10% off. So if you wanna get 20% off, now is the time because it is only a limited time offer. So now that I went over all the products that I used on my hair, I'm gonna let you guys watch the tutorial of how I did my hair this morning and how I did my makeup. If you guys are interested, then just make sure to keep on watching. Okay, so here is how my hair looks the next morning after I let it air dry. As you can see, it's like kind of poofy, not really the cutest. I just let it do its own thing and kind of let it air dry. It's also healthier just to reduce the amount of heat that I have on my hair. So since I am going to be doing really pretty kind of like natural, wavy straight waves i like to call them straight waves because i don't want to look like i purposely took a curling iron and like spent an hour on my hair i like to do the curl really quickly and sometimes i even straighten over it so i'm going to show you guys how i do it so what i like to do is i just like to go over it and straighten it roughly i never want to do like a perfect pin sleek straight because if you do your hair's not going to have texture and volume so i don't want that but i mean i do want to like for example like underneath here like at the root um, I want to kind of straighten the top here my baby hair so they don't stick up So just like a little bit of touch-ups with the um, straightening iron I am gonna link my favorite straightening iron down below as well And you basically just want to go over and straighten the parts That are just kind of wild kind of wild kind of crazy like my roots. I Think it's because I had it in a ponytail last night. Also. I do always go over the ends of my hair just because we don't want them looking like frizzy or anything. So then I will just roughly go over each piece of my hair, but like quickly, like I'll go over one time and that's it. So this top layer up here, like this whole top part is really important. Um, you guys always ask me how I get my hair really sleek without baby hairs. Now, I have my days when I don't have patience enough to do this, but on the days when I really perfect my hair and make it super sleek, this is a really good tip to not have baby hairs. Get a nice thin strand, take the baby hairs, and bend them down. It literally works. What that does is you're literally taking the baby hairs and pushing it down. And again, like I said, that just lays the baby hair to your head. And it really works. There's my breakage. Take it from me, do not bleach your hair with 40 volume developer. Just don't do it. Because you know, my hair did break. But um, I will say my breakage, the ends used to be wild. Like the ends used to be all damaged and fried and squiggly. I'm telling you, these Briogeo products are amazing, especially the deep conditioner. The breakage that I do have, I mean, of course it's still broken because my hair is not gonna grow overnight but the ends are smooth now. Okay, so my hair is pretty much as straight as I want it to be. Just kind of smoothed out because this is gonna be a great canvas to now 
curl or kind of like wave my hair in. So I'm gonna kind of take a good little chunk down here, maybe more just so that I don't have to keep parting my hair over and over. So now I will pretty much take good like amount of section. Like I'm not gonna be shy with the pieces because I don't want these to be small curls. I want these to be like really big, loose, and just kind of messy. And I am also going to wave it in alternating ways, if that makes any sense. So basically I'll do it away from the face for one strand and then the next strand I'll do it towards the face, then the next away and so on and so forth. I usually will only keep it in the wand for like five to seven seconds, not really long because I don't want it again to be too curly. So now I'll just take out the other layers and what's cool actually about always putting it up in these clips and rolling it is when I take the hair out, it kind of already is in a wave. The waves only take like maybe like 10 minutes. I've done this before while I was in a rush even. Like when I didn't have that much time to get ready. Because it really doesn't take that much time. Especially because you only have to hold the curls for like 5 to 10 seconds. And because you don't have to focus on getting it perfect. Like because it's okay for them to look messy. It's acceptable for you to not sit there and spend so much time on it. And for it to look perfect, you know. So it's a really quick and easy look. Because this is starting to get towards my face, again, I will start waving it away from my face. Okay, so now I'll usually bring everything to the front and see how it looks, kind of shake my fingers through everything. Um, and then I'll also always like kind of do little touch-ups. So. You see how it is right now where it's like it looks like I kind of curled it especially towards the bottom what I like to do is go back over some pieces with the straightener and this is what I meant by like a straight wave I'll always just look in the mirror and be like hmm what could what could you know use some fixing sometimes I'll pull apart pieces so I'm just going to straighten this part a little and if I notice there's any pieces that need more of like a wave, like this right here, I feel like could use more, I'll just go over. But I feel like only the top needs it, so I'll leave it just at the top. After I finish kind of doing that, I'll take the straightener again. And let me back up for you guys. So I'll take the straightener again, and I'll go over the hair. I know this is kind of like, what? <laughs> What are you doing, girl? But I just always do this because it just like tones it down, makes it a little bit more of like a straight wave, makes it looser. Okay, so the very last step, I always like to finish off the hair with something, whether it's a wave spray, um, a texture spray. I like to just finish off the hair with something. And recently, I've really been loving the Brio Geo Curl Charisma Frizz Control Gel. I personally love this specifically for this look. I mean, it's good for so many different looks, but I love it specifically for this look because when you're doing like curls or waves, sometimes you do get like, as you can see, I don't know if you guys can tell, a little bit of frizzies. So I always need something to kind of help control that. And this is really amazing at that. So I'm actually just gonna take about that much to start just because I never wanna overdo it. So I'm just gonna take about that much to start and I will just go through my hair with my fingers and this is gonna help pull apart the hair as well. Um, and then I can always do that just to help push down the baby hairs. I'm going to again take the same amount as I did for that side. But ever since I bleached my hair, I've really been doing a lot of research on hair and I've noticed such an importance on using products that have no sulfates, no parabens, because it's super, super unhealthy for your hair, and it also strips your color. So to keep my hair color fresh and looking good and not get brassy, it's really important to use really clean products. Also, I really love using the gel because the gel helps give it a little bit of a wet look, but it doesn't look crispy. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and actually um, 
pull my hair back. Okay, so now that my hair is back, I'm gonna get started with the makeup. I'm gonna do my simple kind of everyday glam makeup that you guys have seen before. I actually have a whole video doing my glam makeup routine, so I'm kind of gonna do that. I might switch up a few products or a few techniques here and there. I always do tutorials with you guys, especially talk throughs, so I kind of figured for today's video, let's keep it classic you know, OG, old school, get ready with me vibes and just do it sped up. Um, and I'll leave all the products that I use down below for you guys. I'll link everything. So I'm gonna go ahead, get started with my makeup, play some music. I wish I could play my own music for you guys, but you know, copyright. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead, start playing some music and do my makeup. <laughs> So that is pretty much it. I am all ready. So I went a little bit more glam than I normally do, meaning I put more eyeshadow than I normally do, but I really like how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed the hair as well. 
just a really pretty soft super natural look like it literally looks like I took no time on my hair and really I mean the hair didn't take that long at all either and of course with the help of the Brio Geo products my hair is amazing but also super healthy so that's really important you don't want your hair to just look healthy you want it to be healthy so make sure you guys check out Brio Geo I'm gonna leave my coupon code and the link down below for you guys to purchase it and don't forget you can also purchase it in stores in Sephora as well hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a like thumbs up that way I can tell if you really liked it and you want to see more of these types of videos don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and sign up for notifications that way you never miss a new video from me as always thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys Mwah.